Now today we're going to be using these three different kinds of oak. Not three different kinds. Today we're going to be using these three different dimensions of oak board. Arbor Freight Saturn Iron. About a 16 ounce glass and a brad nailer. This is what we did with our wood. Made a nice little box. A little bit of accents on each side. That way you look at it from the outside and kind of looks like it's the same material all the way around. Now we should be able to cut four or five sections out of here and we'll have Exact same size boxes all ready assembled and ready for the next step. Now we'll use the table saw to cut our wooden tube into probably about five, five and a half or six inch chunks or pieces, I guess you would say. Got our tube cut up. Let's cut it up into three pieces for now. pretty nice. Now we got to get the top and the bottom put on and get her assembled. Now we got the notch out for the cord and our vaporizer top here. Now we got to put a hole in the front here for our tube. Well, we've got our two hoses put in from each side. Come out through the top there. Tack the top down and glued it. Do a lot of notch for the cord. I'm going to keep it simple. We're not going to put a switch or cut into the wiring or anything. It's all the standard wiring that come with the soldering iron. Put a knot in it so it wouldn't be yanking on the soldering iron itself. And all we got to do is tack the base on. And here we got our unit pretty much all together. for the top of our unit. I removed the soldering iron end. And we got a brass the garden hose cap to cap off a garden hose. And I went ahead and drilled a hole in it. Same size as this. <coughs> I'm going to mount that right on there. Hold your dry herb. Now we have to get a brass screw to set her down in here. Now we got our hookah style double hitter vaporizer together. This is the little brass ball to hold the herb or wax, oil, whatever you need to vaporize. There is a set screw on the side. You can tighten down the set screw. But I think it would be easier just to keep it removable. I don't really think it's going to change the temperature too much. The heat should transfer right up this brass pretty easily. That's another thing, the, the bowl, this, the machine screw, and the nut are all made out of solid brass. That way it won't emit any bad fumes, like a zinc plated or other type of 
metals will sometimes emit fumes when they're heated. Well, here's one of our finished products. We got the inhalation hose all hooked up. This one runs around to the back so it's not visible from the front. And our heating element. Some nice little rubber feet on the bottom there. We don't scratch up the table or slide around. And we've also even got a little stir for the bowl. Put a little hole right there. Have to stay with it on the back side, of course. Okay. Put like a little wooden bead or something on the end here. I guess as you would say a mouthpiece. Get another brass bowl for this top here. And they use some satin clear. Kind of seal it all up real nice. And just a real light coat on the top so it wasn't thick to heat up and emit any type of fumes. And then for this one, we're going to use one of these, they call it a jelly jar glass, but it's for like a porch light, so it should be able to handle higher temperatures and stuff. Fits over there nicely. Turn it sideways here. See our inhalation tube? It'll be within that so the concept is in the bowl plug it in get it all warmed up good put your dry herb or oil in the brass bowl you set this collection cap over it making sure that the inhalation tube is inside there and then you'll see the vapors starting to fill up inside the glass there and when they get half full or whenever you want to and the patient would take a draw off of this inhalation tube and then wait for it to fill up a bit more. That's our do-it-yourself homemade vaporizer made out of a soldering iron it has the heating element.